previously on D-List. Today, I'm gonna explore 10 of the best cars we never got in America. We didn't get them in the States. Never sold in the US. We didn't get in America? Never available. We complain all the time about cars that were never sold in America, but is the grass always greener? Today we are gonna find out. We're gonna take a look at cars only sold in America and rank them to see if maybe things aren't so bad here after all in the land of the free and the home of the brave. I'm James, he's Jeremiah, and this is the d d d d I like cars. You like cars, we like cars. Celebrate your love of cars with the new Jewelry of Cars t-shirt. You get it in Owl Natural. Also, vintage black. You get it for the low, low price of $29.98 only at donutmedia.com. Check it out. It's my favorite shirt to date. The first car on the list is one of the most American cars ever. The original Shelby GT350. Oh my God. If I could have any. <laughs> now these bad little boys started as regular fastback Mustangs, but a chili loving Texan by the name of Carol Shelby got his greasy nuts all over them and turned them into legit race cars with stiffer chassis, better suspension, and a am power baby. The first batch of these cars were all painted Wimbledon white, which is a tennis competition in England. I don't know if you knew that. I did. Fun fact, because these were race cars, they needed to be stiffer. And the floor pans from the Shelby's are from the convertible Mustang. Oh. It has more support. Oh, cool. It got double stiff. Double stiff. And yeah. <laughs> I think we got a little bit of double stiff going on right now. I'm gonna say this is an S tier car. Heck yeah. There are few few cars that I want more than this one and I'll never be able to afford one, but I, I understand why. Yeah. At, le at least I understand why. This, this car being expensive makes sense. Yeah, it's S, top top tier, baby. All right, not every car on this list is as cool as a GT350. Another car that was only sold in American markets was the Pontiac Aztec. <laughs> <laughs> on paper, the Aztec is not a bad car. I think it got a lot of gruff. It was designed by the same guy who designed the C7 Vet. I know you're a fan of those. Yeah, I am. Uh, and it was described as quite possibly the most versatile vehicle on the planet. And it won a freaking JD Power baby award. <laughs> but off paper, uh, Pontiac couldn't sell enough of these ugly turds and eventually <laughs> pulled the plug and sent the Aztec to hell. But the ones that did sell were only here in the US and a few that sold in Mexico. So where does it place on this list? <laughs> I think these are astonishingly expensive now. I wouldn't, yeah, wouldn't doubt it. Of course. It. Of course they are. But man, when these things came out, this was one of the first cars I remember seeing and be like, what the f***? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not gonna do the expected and give it an F. Yeah. I think a solid C. Solid C. I'm a harder grader, so I'm gonna go D. Okay, we'll put it in the middle. Okay, so it's C. C, C minus, minus D plus. There we go, yeah, C minus D plus. The next few cars on this list were only sold in the USA, but interestingly, they're not technically American cars, mm. okay? Sometimes foreign companies make special edition cars only for the US. Oh, cool. All right, one such example is the Toyota RAV4 EV. Whoa! This was not only a US only car, it was a California only car, known as a compliance car. Basically, in 2012, California mandated that if large car manufacturers wanted to keep selling combustion engines, they also had to offer zero emissions vehicles. It came with a very detuned Tesla Model S motor. It was super expensive, didn't have very good range, so obviously it was killed. Right. A few years later, I think this thing looks like absolute dog <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my first reaction was, whoa, I've never seen that and I'm glad I have it. <laughs> yeah, the front looks like a beluga whale. That's what I thought. I thought of Dora from Nemo. Yeah, it looks like a chubby dolphin. Yeah. If that car could talk, it's screaming, kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to him. <laughs> this is bad. I do not like it. Uh, what do you think it? F, dude. Yeah, I can't yeah, imagine okay. a worse car than that. <laughs> <laughs> Toyota wasn't the only uh, car company that had to sell compliance cars in California. Enter the Fiat 500E. Fiat was not happy 
that they had to do this. Uh, they lost a ton of money every time <laughs> they sold one of these. Fiat CEO literally said, I hope you don't buy it. Because every time I sell one, it cost me a $14,000. 500E at a range of a whopping 100 miles. What? And cost twice as much as a regular 500. It cost twice, it, as, much. twice as much for you and then they didn't even profit. Did, yeah. <laughs> I think this is a way better looking car yeah. than the RAV4. Yeah. Uh -huh. But a hundred, <laughs> like we're not going on looks alone. Okay, yeah, looks out of it. I don't see how you can make a worse car. <laughs> from a practicality standpoint, from, from a usability angle. Right, because it's not, it's not like it's a big car. It's like a little one. You're having to deal with the small car and not it going far. One of the smallest. Right. Right. I forget to plug my phone in enough <laughs> overnight that like I would be stranded constantly. Sure. Right, it would be an issue. You'd be, you'd have a flat bed trailer service on on speed dial. I don't think you can do any worse. This is straight up F. Yeah, it's F. It's not as ugly as the last one, but from a functional standpoint, this next one's a curveball. All right, BMW E60 M5. Okay. Now the E60 M5 was sold in Europe, but the American market version had a special secret. A manual transmission. If you want to row your own gears in your M5 in Europe, you were out of luck. Sorry, dude. Only two pedals per car. That's the limit. Except in the US. Why? Well, originally BMW was going to sell all of the cars with a sequential seven speed transmission, but there's one thing Americans are good at, it's complaining. We do it all the time. And American BMW owners begged for a stick. <laughs> so BMW obliged. Uh, and now you can hop on eBay Motors uh, and find yourself a used V10 M5 with a manual in North America and nowhere else. Give me that stick, BMW. Mm. Give me that stick. We need it. I think this is one of the worst looking BMWs ever, and they've made a lot of really bad looking ones. Not my favorite gen for the M5. I'm a big fan of manual transmissions. I think it's cool that asked for one and BMW was like, all right. That's nice. That's nice, thank so you. thank you for that. Thank you, BMW. It's I do think it's a very ugly car. Unfortunate they did it in this model. Mm -hmm. um, I don't love it, I don't hate it. B, it. Like a C? Yeah, I was thinking a C. Yeah, middle of the road. Next up is the Subaru Outback Wilderness Edition. Subaru made this uh, special Outback in response to American Outback owners constantly modifying their Outbacks to make their Outbacks a special Outback. In America, we love special. It's got an extra inch of ground clearance. It's got a skid plate so you don't bust anything up. It's got a bunch of other rugged and spried cosmetic changes. And to top it all off, all right, these bad boys are made in Lafayette, Indiana. Nice. Birthplace of Axl Rose. I think this thing's cool. Yeah, I think it's cool. I think, again, I think it's fun when a manufacturer will listen to the people who buy their cars, notice the trends and be like, hey, do you guys want one with all this crap already on it? As someone who's worked on off-road vehicles, I'd rather just buy one already done so cool. we don't have to buy off <laughs> ourselves. I love it. I'd give it a solid A. You're an A? Uh huh. I think A, a is pretty cool. It's not quite S tier because right. <laughs> it's a Subaru. <laughs> uh, 2017 Camaro ZL11LE. This car, that's like a suggested password. <laughs> yeah. This car was originally intended to be sold in Europe, but. It got banned. Did they make it illegal because of the 650 horsepower supercharged V8 exceeded European emission standards? No. It's because the body kit was too dangerous for soft European pedestrians. <laughs> Apparently those aggressive protrusions on the bumper could slice your legs open in the event of a pedestrian crash. If you're so worried about it, you guys already got shin guards from football. Put them on! Technically, the ZL11LE <laughs> can't be sold in California Ugh. or Washington either. Not because of the body kit, because the brake pads have too much copper in them. And copper dust is bad for salmon populations, okay. which is cool. I think we should think about the salmon. So this thing's pretty cool, These are but 
I don't like what it's doing to the salmon. I agree that if we if Max didn't tell us about the salmon, I was all on board from the beginning because I love these cars. Mm -hmm. They're, they're super great cool. looking. Yeah, they're uh, they're they're the bee's knees, but unfortunately they hurt the the Sammies. Yeah, so I went from an A to a C. Yeah, I'm, I'm right there with you, C. We have reached the final car on our list, the last car we're gonna cover today. And if I'm being honest, there aren't as many great cars on this list as I would have <laughs> hoped. Hopefully our final car can change that. And I think it might. I'm talking first generation Dodge Vipia. The <laughs> Viper was never even intended to be sold to anyone at all. It was just made to say, hey, Chrysler still got it. It didn't come with airbags, uh, didn't come with door locks, didn't have exterior door handles. <laughs> uh, just, it didn't have a roof. Yeah. All it had was an eight liter V10 with 400 buff horses and a dream. This Gen Viper was also a death trap, but it was an American death trap. A small, lightweight, over-engined two-seater with thick wheels with only three spokes. You don't need any more. Looks like a freaking Ninja Star. Ninja Star, yeah! Yeah! <laughs> We're like, <laughs> Carol Shelby helped design this thing. Yeah. And it was only sold here in the US. That got me jacked. Me too, dude. <laughs> S tier. <laughs> yeah, this isn't an S tier. I don't know what was. Dude, what it is. looks like Joe it's... Camel's head. Yeah. It does. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it does. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Uh, I know that rich dudes in Dubai can technically import any of the cars on this list. If they want a RAV4 EV, they could. But the important thing is that they were built and sold with Americans in mind. Uh, go and hit that subscribe button if you like this thing. Hey, you know what else is S tier? Hitting the like button. I love you. <laughs>